the questions you're going to ask the interviewer are quite a significant step in the interviewing process because that will uh, define, uh, th that will often give them the last impression about your performance during uh, that interview. And this can be from uh, the phone interview all the way to, I don't know, the interviewing with a team member or even with the hiring manager. And oftentimes, even here on this channel, I uh, gave you examples of questions you might ask, uh, including tricky questions such as what do you like the least about uh, working here? And in some cases, uh, this can be very efficient. But today's video will be um, about an idea that I got uh, after uh, uh, reading uh, Dale Carnegie's book, uh, which, by the way, I'll also link in the video description. And that is, you know, as the title implies, uh, you should ask questions that the interviewer will enjoy answering. Now, why is this? Well, there is some research, um, I'll also link that article in the video description, that when you have an exchange, when you ask people questions, if you ask them the right type of questions, uh, there are two main things that happen. First of all, there's an exchange of information, as you would expect. And you know, the better question, the better the, the exchange of information. But the other thing um, is that uh, it's you will be more likable, right? So if your goal in a job interview, or I should say toward the end of the interview, uh, is to be more likable toward your interviewer, then I believe this advice will should make perfect sense for you. Now, um, what are some examples of questions that will uh, likely enjoy answering in a, in a job interview? And let's start with, you know, with, uh, with some general ones here. So, for example, uh, if, if I said in the beginning of the video that what do you like least about the, your, your job, you could ask them uh, what do you like the best about your job, right? Or, um, you know, if you would want to have a, a little bit more of an open-ended question, you could also ask them, um, what do you like best about this company, right? So you don't go as personal as, as the, the other one. Or if you feel, you know, in some situations, the interviewer would not be, you know, that type of person who you can, whom you can ask these types of, you know, obviously uh, likable questions. You could also uh, ask a trickier question, but not a negative one. So, uh, such as, for example, uh, what am I asking you? Am I not asking you that I should? So, again, what am I not asking you that I should? So, this is, a, again, a very efficient question to especially build rapport between you and your interviewer, even if it's last impression, but that's also something that's going to stick with them. So this would be three questions more on the general side uh, that you can use. Now, what if you interview, for example, with, um, with a member of your future team? What type of questions could you ask them, uh, given this context of uh, questions that they will likely enjoy answering? Well, they likely enjoy answering, um, what are your team's strengths? or what do you like best about your team? And uh, if it goes well, if they feel, if they are straightforward with your answer and they feel not that impressed, you can also, okay, but what about the, the weakness? What do you think could be better, could be improved here, could, could definitely improve here? Or uh, another question that could also open up the discussion, the conversation, could you tell me a bit more about the team members? Right, again, an open-ended question. And these open-ended questions, um, are more likely to be well received by uh, by these interviewers. Or uh, to give you another example here, what are the most important initiatives that your team is working on for the next six to twelve months? Right. So it's again, what's your success story? Right. So if they ask you what's your more most interesting project, th this is the opposite. You ask them, hey, what's your most interesting project? Because they're rarely going to tell you that you know, we're stuck, we're doing nothing right now. Or if they do, well, yeah, at least they, you know, they open up again. So it's again, you, you, you normally score points on the likability aspect. Now, uh, what about the hiring manager? Uh, the hiring manager in, in many, the, the best types of questions that you, you should ask the hiring manager is to show that you really understand the job that you're the, the what you're getting into here and often oftentimes I found a, a very uh, interesting uh, keyword in uh, I believe it's, it's in uh, Misha Yurchenko's book um, that is commercialism so if you feel if uh, 
if you convince them that uh, you understand their business or at least you want to learn more about the business, that's the, the best types of candidates they want to work with. Now, what are some, uh, some questions you might ask them here? Uh, who are your biggest customers? Or um, how are your customers like? How much, do, how much time do you spend with your customers? If, if, if it at all applies for your type of role. Again, there are many types of jobs here, so I'm not sure who's your customer, if, if, if that's the most important thing to show that commercialism uh, in your application. Or how do you measure performance? Are you happy with how, how the team performs? This is another question designed to make your hiring manager open up a little bit and to open up a little bit the conversation to these general types of questions. Uh, so these would be some examples of questions you, you might want to consider while uh, you know asking them questions towards the end of the interview. And last but not least, a very important remark to the extent that you feel comfortable and to the extent that your culture allows this, uh, use names. Call them by their name. Hey, Mike, uh, who are your biggest customers? Right? It makes the conversation a little bit more personal, right? So using names is, again, something that I took. I think it was from Dale Carnegie's book as well. So there you go. I hope you found this information useful. I tried to link as uh, much of this in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.